So, Corda Kamakura hooks. Obviously, there's been loads of people talking about these, both sides of the camp. Some people love them, some people think they're an absolute waste of money. I thought I'd come on and give my honest opinion of these hooks. I've been using them exclusively for around about a year. I mean, obviously, I'm not involved with Corda in any way, shape, or form. Um, so this is a genuine, honest review of these hooks. I'll cut to the chase. I absolutely love them. I want to dispel um, or uh, dispel. Is that the right word? I want to undo a few myths about these hooks. Now, these are size sixes. I usually use them in the size fours. I've got these up in my office, so yeah, we're, we're using these today. But I generally use a size four. Um, I'll be honest. I, I use a lot of the, the wide gape and the choddy style hooks for hinge stiffs and, and bottom bait rigs. I don't even like a beaked point hook. I much prefer a straight point hook. Now, obviously, Corda don't make these Kamakuras in a straight point, so I have to use beak. Why don't I just sharpen my own hooks? Um, I can't. I'm literally cat-handed. I'm absolutely rubbish about it. Anyone who listens to our podcast, uh, the Carp Angler Chronicles podcast, will know I'm useless at sharpening hooks, so I buy these. And honestly, they are fantastic. Um, so obviously they come in this little box here. They've got a uh, bit of, I don't know what, on the end just to protect it. And there we go, standard kind of pattern. Now a lot of people say, oh, they're, they're too sharp, they're too thin at the, at the point there and they just break or they just come in blunt. Yeah, look, you can't have a really sharp hook without it being very, very thin at the top. Is it a problem? No, I don't think so. Does it blunt off easier? Yeah, it does, so be careful. Um, you know, if you're fishing over gravel and you're fishing hard on the deck and there's no silt there, there's nothing to protect it, and there's, you know, let's say it's a big reservoir and there's, yeah, you, it's going to be, you know, it, it's going to be towing back and forth and it's going to be blunting the, the point. The fact that it's a bar, um, sorry, the fact that it's a bit of a beak point to it is actually going to help protect it a little bit, but it's still going to blunt and off, okay? So in that situation, you might want to either, you know, fish a pop-up. Um, if that's not really the way to go, then it might not be the best choice for you, okay? That being said, it, it's, it happens less often than you would think for me. I use these most of the time, um, and it's, it's not a problem for me, but I just want to make you aware of that. You know, it, it could be an issue. Other than that, let's say we're fishing off the deck, we're, we're, we've got a you know, whatever you use in a freaking Ronnie rig or um, a hinge stiff like me or, or whatever, there's absolutely no reason not to use these super sharp hooks because they're not coming into contact with the deck, with the lake bed. They're not going to blunt off. Now, on some very corrosive lakes, yeah, sure, it could weaken the point and they could come back dull and blunt. For me, I've not experienced this, I must say. I mean, I fish weedy, gin clear lakes um which comprise of gravel and weed um and sure you get some little silt pockets and stuff naturally in some areas but that those are the kind of lakes i fish and they're honestly i never have a problem with it do i have to change it more than i would do a a, a less sharp hook to be honest i don't think so i mean maybe a little bit but for the sake of having a hook that is far more efficient it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's a, it's a really worthy trade-off, in my opinion, okay? So, I don't know. I know it sounds like I'm harping on, like I'm, you know, a quarter fanboy, etc. I'm really not. It's just I think these hooks are fantastic. What I will say is the gauge, the wire, it's a little bit weaker than I would like. I've never had a problem with these. I have had problem with quarter hooks on years gone by, and I've, you know, I think we all know someone that's had an issue with a quarter hook. These seem to be okay so far. Um, I believe that they're going to bring them out in a slightly heavier gauge, the Kamakura X, I think they're going to call them. When they come out, I, I'm sure I'll move on to them. Um, just in case, you know, if, as I said, a fish are very, very weedy waters. Sometimes you've got to hit and hold. You've got to pull them out of the weed. You've got to put a lot of pressure on them that you perhaps wouldn't do if there wasn't the weed prevalent there or there wasn't snags prevalent there. In those situations, whilst they've never let me down, I would kind of like a, a slightly stronger hook that I've got a bit more confidence in in that respect. Kind of know I'm contradicting myself, but those are my thoughts about it. Um, and that's it. Yeah, they're more expensive than other hooks. Of course they are. 
I mean, the, the, the amount of work that must go into these to build the machinery and everything like that, of course, they're going to cost more. Is it worth it? Yeah, I honestly think so. I really, really think so. Are they going to put more fish on the bank? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. I am massively confident in them. I think a really, really ultra sharp hook is one of the biggest edges. I hate that phrase, but edges that you could have. I really do. I think it's very, very worthwhile doing. That's pretty much it check them out i mean really really good i would not go back to using a conventional hook if these stop getting made i would have to buy some ready sharpened hooks or something like that or just learn to do it myself which i probably should do anyway um, but until then i will be using the corda kamakura hooks